Hello, everyone. I'm going to give it another minute or two so that everybody can get comfortable and we'll be sh starting shortly. All right. Hello and welcome everybody to Japan Online Week on this beautiful Thursday afternoon, morning or late at night, depending on where you are. Thank you for joining us on this third and last day and final session of our first online manga and anime event brought to you by Wacom, Clip Studio Paint, Pixiv and Triple S Studio. The closing session today is with Wacom CEO Nobu Ida and EVP Fai Karoglu and special guest Ki Narashima, CEO of Celsius. But before jumping in, let me share some basic housekeeping rules. There is the slide. The webinar is going to last roughly one hour. We will answer questions during the session and towards the end of it. With so many people in the room, we probably won't be able to answer all your questions, but believe us, we will try our best. Please use the Q&A fun function of Zoom for your questions, and please use the chat only for technical issues. We're all creators and enthusiasts, enthusiasts, so please be kind and do not spam the chat feed. It disturbs the experience of others and sometimes even interferes with the functionality of Zoom. This session is also being recorded like the other sessions and we will make it available on Wacom's YouTube channel next week. You will receive an email with links, additional information and even some special offers from our sponsors. If you're new to Zoom, do check out the gallery view and speaker view options in Zoom to find the best viewing experience for yourself. Click around freely, you cannot break anything. At least that's what we hope. Once the screen share starts, or in this case, the video broadcast, you can adjust the slider between the, between the different camera feeds to find the ideal settings for your viewing pleasure. So, who are we? Wacom is the pioneer of digital pen input technology, and we have been around for almost 40 years. So every time you need to work or create on a computer and realize the mouse or trackpad is just not doing the job, you might want to switch to a Wacom tablet. And for the ones who already know us or joined us before, welcome back. It's great to have you with us. Those of you who have been following us for the last three days and the months before are probably already very familiar with our ongoing, ongoing and growing relationship with Clip Studio Paint. And I will let Joanna do the introduction. Thank you very much. I think after the last three days, probably everyone knows, but Club Studio is versatile graphic software best suited for drawing and painting to create a wide range of content. With a wealth of unique features, it helps to create anything from illustrations over comics to concept art and animation. No matter if professional or hobbyist, Club Studio Paint's natural drawing feel, along with its special comic features is loved by artists from around the world. It has also been one of the most popular software used by the artist community on Pixiv. All right, thank you very much, Joanna. Our other partner for this uh, Japan Online Week were Pixiv. Pixiv is a social network for artists with a focus on communication through artworks. It was launched in September 2007, specializing in the publication and communication of art aiming to make creativity more enjoyable. Pixiv has over 50 million, five zero million users and they're growing strong. Visit them and join the amazing community on pixiv.net slash en. Triple S by Applebot is a group of creators that define themselves as unknown value. Their mission is to discover and reveal unexampled values and share them with the world. Triple S in the name stand for sign of sense studio to point out that they utilize individual sensitivities and project them in the artwork they create. All right. 
So without taking much more of your time, I will leave the stage to uh, our CEO Nobu and EVP Pike, and I hope you enjoy the session and we'll be seeing you later. Thank you very much. Also from my side, um, welcome, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It depends where you are in the world. Uh, my name is Feig. Uh, I'm honored to be here with you and uh, honored to be, have the closing session together with uh, our CEO, Ide Nobu, but of course also with Narashima-san, who is the CEO of Celsius together. One hour, we have uh, one hour. In this one hour, we want to talk about harmony. We want to talk about harmony in technology. Harmony, which is part of our DNA. We want to talk about harmony in the community, harmony with our partners, but also harmony and the combination of, of chaos. This is just to give you a little bit uh, direction where we are going in this um, session. And uh, of course, we are trying to answer as much as possible your uh, questions. I'm sitting here with the team in Düsseldorf in Germany and uh, Nobu and Narashima-san, they are sitting in Tokyo. Over to Tokyo, Nobu. I think Nobu's on mute. Oh, hang on. Our sea of Wacom. Uh, we are broadcasting from our Wacom Tokyo office with a great night view, with COVID-19 actually. <laughs> and uh, here's a social distance, but uh, Narashima-san, the surprise guest from Celsius CEO. Thank you, thank you, John. Hello, hello. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. Yes, to yes, yes, and yes. I found. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, just, just, we decided uh, a couple of days ago. You know, yeah. I sent a line message and, hey, Narushima, san you like to drink beer together with me at 11 p.m. <laughs> in Tokyo? Welcome office. So, and uh, actually, Narushima san is living very close, walking yes, yes. distance. Yes, right? yes, yes. F Fifteen minutes, ten minutes. Um, I'm a 15, I'm a 15, 15, 15 yeah, yes. so, me too, me too. So same area, same area. So we already proved the community fight, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. Delsis office is a walking distance from Wacom Tokyo headquarters. Just yeah. there, 10 minutes, yes. 10 minutes. Yes. So yes. frequently we can go back and forth. And Celsius CEO, Narushima-san, and myself are living in 10 minutes for <laughs> Here's community. Thank you. Mike? <laughs> Great. Th thank you. Uh, and as you can see, in Tokyo, it is uh, already 11 o'clock in the night. For this, um, our two CEOs, they are already enjoying the beer. And again, um, we would like to talk uh, now really more on a, on a freestyle about harmony. And harmony, um, in, in this case, also... Uh, in the context of technology. I think you all uh, know the name Wacom and Wa in general um, uh, in, in Japanese means harmony. And this is also the idea, DNA of, of, the, of the whole philosophy, how we are driving, developing, and also growing in this case uh, together with uh, our community, but also with the product, with our partners um, uh, using really this, this, this Wa. And, uh, if you want to write this wa in uh, kanji, I think uh, in Japan we can, we can show this, Nobu can show this maybe on a whiteboard. That means wa is really also, as I said, part um, of the, um, um, yeah, everything what, what, what we are doing. Um, maybe Nobu, from your side. When you are seeing on, 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 the, on the whiteboard, uh, that means in kanji writing wa, um, and as I said, in this case, also part of our um, uh, um, philosophy. The philosophy is really based, uh, based on this to bring in, in this case, human being with technology together and see that this technology is working seamlessness in, a, in, in harmony and that uh, this is in, in this case also fitting together. Um, especially uh, with the user of the, of the products. And in this case, it is also important that we are uh, following this, this uh, in, in our development of, of, of products, but also in the experience of the products and especially based on the feedback in the collaboration with you as users of this kind of, of, of products. 
Um, Bacom is, is founded uh, 37 years ago. And, uh, and again, uh, we just uh, are talking about our offices now here in um, Japan. Uh, our office, our current office, uh, where um, Nobu and, and uh, uh, Narushima-san are, is in Shinjuku. This is, uh, you saw also the, the view, but uh, the foundation of the, of the uh, company was in Saitama, which is close to Tokyo uh, and which is more on the, on the rice fields. And again, 37 years ago with this philosophy to really uh, bring pen and paper into the digital world. And this is also where we are coming from, where our root uh, is. But of course, we are extending this also um, with uh, our so-called new technologies um, and especially growing with the uh, partners and communities. Uh, and part of our strategy is uh, here also very clear, the lifelong ink strategy. Maybe with this, Nobu, you can uh, explain more in detail what we are thinking about lifelong ink and what is the philosophy behind this. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Yes, so actually, as I just wrote down kanji here, uh, with our 86 inch with a Wacom pen technologies, WA, of Harmony. So this is really uh, part of our company's name and part of our spirit. WA is harmonizing and COM is coming from our computer, communication, and for these days, communities. So there, uh, you know, uh, our company's founder really put this simple name uh, 40 years ago, you know, really praying for the, you know, how we can make this world more humane. So we have still the spirits in our mind. So that, as Mike mentioned, a uh, lifelong ink concept, which we are, you know, having our visions. This is really kind of a, you know, we are a uh, pen tablet or display pen tablet manufacturers but uh, we're really trying to serve for the human being's creativity. And it's not just for the one-shot experience. Of course, a pen can deliver the best experience. You know, their uh, functions and performance is really optimized for the creations, designers, creators. But uh, uh, our story is not just limited as just one-shot experience while you're using the device, but our vision is how we can keep serving for the lifelong, for the lifelong, from the born to die, uh, how we can support, how our technology can support your creativity, and how our partnership, you know, can support uh, the creators' lifelong creations. So this is, you know, from software wise, hardware wise, and technology innovations, the collaboration with our partners. By all means, we really trying to jointly work together with our users, customers, creators, designers. So this is a, a basic concept of lifelong game. Like? Yes. Good, and, and with this, um, I would already then, then, then jump re in, in, into the next block. Again, this is where we are coming from, the Harmony, WA. And the Harmony uh, was and is growing together with you with the community and the community is all over the world it is uh, really in in a way that the manga community the animation community the movie uh, community the, the whole creative community is in this case um, uh, with us together and we are growing together and for us uh, it is more 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 than, than than important really and essential to uh, keep this also going in the, in the future because this is where we are coming from and we are also going to uh, support this growing in the in the future and i think there are several questions i just want to jump on on one key question uh, thank you also for the feedback that you liked this webinars that you liked this session and you're asking are there going to be uh, uh, yeah future uh, are the future plans for similar uh, webinars i just can say yes this is the the starting point this is the starting point with uh, partners uh, with artists uh, from from the from the creative community to use this and uh, to drive this with you with you together um, maybe and now on the on the community part, I would like to, to jump uh, again back to Japan and uh, uh, Nobu is going to explain us uh, more the community which is based on otaku in, 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 in Japan, but then we can expand this also to the other parts of the world. With this back to you Nobu. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, thanks. So, yeah, I have a uh, King of Otaku here, <laughs> Narushima-san. So there, actually, 
Um, as Vice mentioned, you know, there, uh, we really trying to uh, care and we really trying to, you know, kind of regenerate the whole communities, uh, not just our single customers. So there, uh, of course, uh, we, we have to keep delivering uh, the best experience and uh, best device uh, through our product service. Uh, but our most important thing is, uh, as I mentioned, as lifelong in concept, how we commit uh, these communities to keep working together for the lifelong. So there, actually, uh, in daily base, yes, I can say the beautiful things. Uh, I'm committed. You know, there. Uh, this is really solid. You know, I can keep saying this. But uh, honestly, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy to keep engaging with the communities. So I, I, you know, there. When, when I meeting with the uh, communities, when I'm meeting with a, uh, you know, burning heart, the community guys, the customers, creative designers. It's not always easy things. It's not, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, we are challenged and uh, I still remember, you know, the, when I'm talking with uh, one uh, animation uh, guys, he challenged me, hey, Ire-san, you are stealing my stroke. So I, I just didn't know what, what he's talking about, but it's really about, her, you know, just pen, performance wise and uh, even even just a few millimeter stroke if I miss that it's really it means I'm stealing the creator stroke so I, I was really shocked to find that mindset and uh, I reconfirmed you know our mission our engagement with the community is really mission critical mission critical 24 hours seven days we cannot stop. So we cannot stop the creator's work. We cannot disturb the uh, designer's workflow. So this is really tough, but uh, every time I talk, you know, the, what's a high bar we have to go through. So there, this is, uh, I'm really feeling that uh, in terms of engaging with communities. But uh, I, have a, I have a partner, I have a partner. So not only just uh, hardware perspectives, we have to deliver our optimized experience together with applications. And uh, uh, maybe I like to uh, ask the Narushima san uh, the you know what he thought about this uh, harmony of yeah. uh, applications and hardware things yeah. uh, from his perspective. Narushima san, Japanese is also okay. 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 Do, do, とっても厳しいお客様にご提供するときに一体どういう今お気持ちでそれを仕事されてるか。はい。そう、インジャパニーズ、あの、僕はクリエイターの作ってるコンテンツっていうのは、クリエイターの大事な子供だと思ってます。
だから儲かったからやめちゃうとか、<笑>そういうのダメなんです。<笑> so, so it's, it's not a matter of a business, it's not a matter of a how much we gain, but it's really kind of a mission. Thank you. Thank you, Narasimha. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. it's five. Yeah. Th th thank you, Nobu. Thank you also for translation. And thank you also, Narasimha-san, really, the, to really uh, explain this um, also from, from your perspective, etc. Uh, engaging with community, being in harmony with community. Based on this, I would like to jump on some questions because we are receiving a lot of questions um, okay. during, during the session now. Maybe we just can pick some, some of them. Uh, and uh, uh, start to uh, answer them. Uh, the first one uh, I want to pick is, is here. Uh, why did you decide to start make the company Wacom? Uh, I think uh, the, uh, this, is, this is an interesting question because uh, either Nobu or myself, we decided to make the, the company, but I think we can, we can both say something to this. Maybe Nobu, this, this one to you, uh, decide okay. to start to make the company based on the history. Uh, so, what, what the question? The question is, why did you decide to start to, to make the company Wacom? Ah, okay, okay. The origin of Wacom. Origin. Great. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's, uh, as Fike mentioned, you know, uh, relatively, Fike and myself are newcomers for Wacom. You know? <laughs> but uh, I can answer that. Because um, when I got assignment of a CEO job uh, two years ago, three years ago, Oh, I had a chance to have a dinner with a founder of Wacom, Eto-san, you know. And actually that dinner was our first gen CEO, Eto-san, and the second gen CEO, Oga-san, the third gen CEO, Yamada-san, and myself. Full, full CEO dinner, the crazy dinner, you know, a really crazy dinner, I still remember. So the, I, I heard a lot of story at that time, and the beginning, beginning of this uh, company is really, uh, just a few engineers, a few engineers started up this company. And I heard it's really starting from a very small, dirty apartment room in Shibuya. You know, Shibuya is actually very famous for the young fashion towns that are uh, 40 years ago. It's not like that. So I heard uh, we started up the very tiny, small, dirty rooms, uh, just a few engineers. And at that time, I heard you know, uh, we have not decided to go with a, a pen tablet or pen display tablet at that time. We have some core technologies uh, using our EMR, uh, electric uh, resonance, uh, the magnet resonance technologies, but uh, I heard uh, there are a few engineers really wondering uh, how I should use these technologies. You know, it's for uh, their automobile, it's for their something, other technologies, they're wondering. But just one key spirit, one key spirit uh, for their, uh, these few engineers are core concept. How I can use for these core technologies for their human beings. So they have not a clear image. The technology is going to be implemented in the pen technology as of today, but they just, you know, seeking for how these core technologies can contribute to the human being society. This is real story I heard at the crazy full CEO dinners. And I, 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 I was really kind of, a, you know, shocked, you know, how pure, how pure, you know, starting story Wacom had and uh, it's not for their, as Narashima mentioned, it's not for their money things and our, it's not for their IPO things. Uh, later we did IPO, later we did IPO, but uh, the beginning story is not for the money, it's not for their uh, company growth, but uh, how this technology can be used for the human being society. So uh, this is a beginning story of Wacom and I'm still, you know, be very proud of this beginning story and I think Somehow, even newcomers like myself uh, or even uh, their uh, old team members, I think all Wacom team members has this kind of a spirit in our mind as a very small, you know, light in our mind. So that's what I'm believing. Like. Yes. Th th thank you, Nobu. And by the way, when Nobu is talking about newcomers, we both are more than five years in the company, just uh, as an information <laughs> for everybody. That means this is what we mean with newcomers. 
um, that was a question from, from the past. That means where we are coming from, from, from really uh, the, the origin. Then I, I would like uh, to pick a, another question, which is more the future and which is really also important for all of us in the future. That means what kind of measures are you taking? This is the question. Are you taking towards sustainability development and green technology? Um, and uh, I think this is something what we are discussing intensively also at, at Vacom uh, in the product development process and, and how we are also developing product, products um, for the future. Uh, and uh, here also together with the future generations. And I think this is one of the, um, um, yeah, I would say favorite uh, topics also of, of Nobu. For this, again, back to Japan, no, to talk about tomorrow, that means what are we doing towards sustainability and green technology? Yeah, thank you, Faik. I, I think uh, you made that question, right? On purpose. No, no, <laughs> it's, it's, it's from Zaina Malik. I just give you the name, oh. really, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you, great, great questions. Thank you for questioning that. So actually, as Faik mentioned, uh, you know, this is really uh, their kind of an intensive topic which we are discussing. Uh, the reason why we're discussing is uh, we don't have answers. We don't have a clear answers. We don't have a clear like a KPI, how we are going to make our, you know, uh, assess to this topic. But one thing which we are so sure is, you know, as I mentioned, our vision is lifelong ink, lifelong ink. It's not for the you know, our operations, our activities, our technology innovation is not for their, like our this fiscal year achievement or, you know, second quarter revenue or OPI. It's not our, you know, goal. It's our visions, our mission is how we can deliver the lifelong ink experience, lifelong ink value for the customers. So this is a long, long, long term themes, which we are in the middle of the journey to explore the answers. So in that context of uh, green technologies and their sustainabilities, uh, no question, it's definitely our scope. And uh, our uh, intensive discussion really covers, you know, like a green technologies. Honestly, uh, there, you know, we are, uh, of course, we are aligning with a kind of a, uh, like a green technology loop or the compliance. There are, you know, we are not using a forbidden materials. This is, you know, just, just normal things. But what we really trying to access is, uh, you know, our value proposition is really through our service applications experience and our products. So how we can make our products uniquely, uniquely uh, to their uh, accessing to the green technologies. So it doesn't mean uh, we have some more, uh, Excel chart for their KPI to check the green technologies and we comply that done. It's, it's not like this. We really product planning guy, engineering guys, and we are really aggressively discussing even small, small things, how we can prove, you know, how we can express ourselves uh, for their, you know, uh, green technologies. Of course, our product itself is like our you know, we can say replacing the, you know, papers or minimizing the paper use, uh, you know, uh, that kind of thing, uh, naturally contributing to that kind of uh, energy consumptions. But at the same time, you know, uh, our visions is we would like to make our products, which creators, designers can be proud of using our products because this is green technologies. So I believe the creative communities are uh, the creators, designers are very, very keen, very, very, you know, cutting edge uh, conscious about our uh, green technologies. So uh, in other words, uh, we have to deliver uh, our products or service applications, uh, which their, our customers, creators, designers can be proud of having, uh, using uh, our technology. So that, that's uh, what our image we have. And also sustainabilities, uh, this is a, a definitely other, you know, uh, we are working on. And uh, we are actually uh, doing some uh, unique uh, social initiative 
uh, the activities. So there, oh, of course, you know, uh, there, uh, like, are, again, you know, there are uh, labor uh, rules or some, uh, you know, the normal, like, uh, KPI or social initiatives, uh, we are doing that. But beyond that, you know, uh, our visions is how they're not, not whole company, but uh, how each team members composing Wacom can play, you know, the, any individual uh, like uh, missions in their society for the sustainability, social engagement. So company, of course, we would do uh, like uh, any kind of arrangement, donations uh, as a company, we are going to do that. But uh, most important thing is how company can support each team members of Wacom employees, team members. We are calling uh, team members for well, Wacom employees. We're not using the term of employees, by the way. So how each team members can think individually, can act individually in his society within the five kilometers, you know, diameters of the area. So the these small things are pile up and it's eventually composing the sustainability of Wacom. So this is a core spirit of Wacom. That is why we are, you know, kind of running some uh, key programs, you know, to supporting or each team members uh, activities. And in our website, we are highlighting uh, these, uh, you know, activities. Uh, and we are so proud, you know, uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, all these uh, team members working together with us. Mike? Yeah. Th thank, thank you, Noam. And maybe just, just to add to this, really on the, because there are also a lot of questions about uh, future products and where we are going and what is uh, also our vision in this, in this kind of things. I think we are uh, talking uh, uh, very often also about value propositions we are focusing in, in the future. And uh, one of our value propositions is, of course, always the XR topic, for example, where we are talking about 2D to 3D, where we are seeing also that artists are going in this, in this way. And the question is always, how are we going to support our uh, community in this case and how we are following this and defining not just here in, in this case, use cases together, even the, the workflow and maybe the future workflows uh, to see also what is needed for the dedicated industry? This is really also one, one of the questions, just to give you an additional thing. But maybe there's also a question to Celsius um, here in this case, to uh, Narushima-san, uh, as you can uh, talk about this. There's the question is, will Celsius continue to develop and improve the animation tools in Clip Studio? And uh, this is a very generic question, but maybe you can elaborate a little, a little bit about this. Okay. so. あ、ナルシマさんへの質問が、そのアイトセルシスがそのアニメーション、アニメーションのその要素、アプリケーションですね。これからあの、え、作り続けていくんでしょうかっていう、あの、セルシスのその、ま、将来方向性。オッケー。
for either manga or animation, the purpose of manga animation is a common, you know, how we can deliver the visualized story through their media. Yeah, yeah. で、本当はあの、セルシスがやりたいことっていうのは、そう、リードさんに言ってたんですね。あの、フィルムでも紙でもなくて、じゃあ、これこれでストーリーをビジュアルを使って伝えるという新しいコンテンツの表現様式をあ
<laughs> okay. Thank you for the questions. What's the definition of an artist? Right. What's the definition of an artist? Yeah. Definition is a, you know, the artwork can be changed to money or your living uh, for the, you know, uh, your daily base, uh, you're getting money for their artwork. Uh, I don't think so. So my job is CEO and uh, I'm not a professional uh, drawing guy, but uh, I think, you know, the human beings, all human beings can be artists. So it's not just drawing things, you know, uh, talking about personal things. Oh, I love music. Uh, I'm a you know, musicians playing our, our musical instrument and enjoy it. But, uh, you know, but Narushima-san is actually a drawing guy, right? You know, they're, they're, I know that he's uh, studying story of Celsius, you know, kind of studying with uh, some uh, assistant of the drawings. <laughs> yes, yes. So, but, uh, you know, I think the root, root is same. So uh, how we like to be creative, how we are excited to express that and how we feeling joy to communicate this. So in terms of that, uh, thank you for your questions. I'm artist, I like to say. Great, Mike? thank you, thank you. So, uh, and I think this is more uh, really a philosophical uh, discussion and uh, a, a question from um, also one, one of our um, uh, yeah, listeners here. Um, the question is connecting to the green energy. Do you think paper as a medium will die or will it survive for applications like origami, paper crafts, and of course, drawing and paint, uh, painting? I think you both, you have, you have a view on, on, on this uh, from, from your perspective, really uh, the paper in the, in, the, in the analog world. Okay, great. Great question, thank you. So uh, let me start. So the paper, you know, paper craft, origami, whatever, uh, what come positions? Uh, you know, we've never, we've never thought like our, we are going to uh, terminate the paper. And we also, we never said we are going to replace the papers. Yeah. So yeah. our visions uh, is how we are going to coexist uh, with a paper, paper, uh, analog media and how we can kind of a jointly create the new experience. So that, that is uh, what I'm feeling. And, uh, uh, and also, uh, let me add um, one thing. Uh, there are paper, real paper things, and real pen and paper experience. You know, I, I cannot express how, how I and how welcome all team members are respecting that. One customer, when I talked with him, his creators, hey, Ide-san, you know, uh, let's say what I can express with a legacy pen paper is like this. This range I can do creations. What I can do with a Wacom device is just this, just this, just only this huge gap what he can do with a real pen papers. So this is our, you know, recognitions. What's a great media the pen and paper is and what's a kind of a long-term goal which we have to, you know, reach. So this is kind of our, our basic understanding of our technology innovations. We never thought we are going to conquer the analog or paper or legacy media things. No, the great respect and we have to reach and we also have to deliver the new layer of value propositions on top of the, you know, the, uh, the real pen paper things. So as digital uh, technologies. So this is how we are viewing uh, for the uh, legacy paper and media things. Maybe Narushima-san, mm. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
クリエイターの,その表現の幅をデジタルって広げるだけであのリプレイスとかそういうものじゃないんですよね。うんうんうんうん、あのよりデジタルだからできることっていうのが増える、うん、それがすごい大事なこ、うんな風に考えます。So the Naoshima san's、uh, spirit is very simple. So the Naoshima san's application solutions is、yeah. not to replace a paper, but、yeah. to expand the creators, the capabilities、yes. and opportunities for the expressions. So it's not a replacement, it's just a Uh, extension or additional yes,、uh, value. Yes. Oh, that's Narashima Science trying to de deliver with our sales solutions. Fike? Great, thank you.、Um, maybe one, one additional question, which is going in, in, in the direction of product and, and development. There is a question about are we going to have software for mobile devices?、Um, let me just, just、uh, express this in that way. We, we are working,、uh, as we said, also in the beginning with our partners together, and we believe also. That、uh, partners in the whole ecosystem are uh, um, uh, here very important to grow together again, also with the, with the community. And we are working with partners like Celsius to have this kind of software and to drive this and to optimize this in the, in the, in the experience, hardware, software, and, and services. With this, I would like to, to jump、uh, to, the, to the next topic、uh, here, in, in this case, also. The future, the future of chaos, and how chaos is in, in this case also connected to harmony. And we are going to have an event.、Uh, the name of the event is Connected Inc. event. This is going to be happening in November. And this is going to be, in this, in this case, also an event mostly with, with our partners together, with,、uh, where we are talking about really the,、um, yeah, uh, the, the framework, where we are going, and how we are bringing. Chaos and harmony together and, and drive this. And with this, back to Tokyo and back to Nobu to talk a little bit about the Connected Ink event. Thank you, Fike. Thank you. Yes, just、uh, as Fike mentions,、uh, we are so excited to have our, you know, our open innovation event、uh, titled Connected Ink、uh, upcoming November. So, you know, there, this event is actually、uh, our fifth year. Um, we, we keep running this event、uh, for the last five years. But for this year's event, we're really trying to upgrade or escalate、uh, to the next level. So, the、uh, whole purpose is you know, this is open innovations for communities. So, let's join、uh, from a different i n d u s t r y different c o u n t r y different cultures, different technologies.、Uh, but,、um, you know, So、it's not for the business, it's not for their kind of efficiency, productivity, but let's try to join and let's try to have creative, creative collision. And let's try to have unexpected encounter to have some things. So we don't know, we don't know answers, but so many different animals are getting together in these platforms, and、uh, we are going to collaborate and we are trying to improve. Or、uh, something can be comes up, coming out from this intentional chaos. So, there, you know,、uh, of course, Celsius is going to join this event.、Uh, the last year, you know, we joined together yeah, with yeah. Narashima Sans. And、uh, for the other uh, partners, uh, service software, hardware, IT, OS, and their creators, designers. And this year,、uh, Japan Philharmonic Orchestra is going to join. And some are, you、wow. know, some are underground dancing teams are going to join.、Yeah. <laughs> and also, cloud service guy is going to join. And,、uh, you know, whole、uh, their speed drawing、uh, competition is going to happen. So, and we are going to collaborate with、uh, Ars Electronica.、Uh, they're located in Linz. It's a kind of 40 year history, the art technologies、uh, entities. We are going to collaborate with them for the multi years, trying to explore. A joint journey trying to find where is my soul, where is my kotodama. Using the art and technologies, let's try to make the questions for the society things. We are going to do that also in the Connected Ink event. So I cannot count all these crazy, chaotic collaborations. We are going to、uh, make it happen in this Connected Ink event. Again, this is not for business, 
This is not for their investor relations. This is not for their, you know, our, uh, their revenue things, but whole reasons, whole one reasons is this is an experiment. Let's try to have creative chaos and let's try to have something new from this, you know, with the communities connected Inc. So uh, we are going to run this event uh, in Tokyo, Shinjuku on November 18th, but at the same time, uh, we are going to have online versions at the same times. So there are 24 hours we are going to do this event. So there, I'm, I, I cannot wait to share with you the timetables of this event, 24 hours. And of course, you can enjoy an uh, European time zone, US time zone, Asia time zone, Japan, of course. And they're online, off-site, on-site. Either way, uh, you can participate. So I like to prove I like to prove how Wacom and how Wacom and communities can approach and can take a joint journeys for, you know, there these for human beings things. Like? Yes, and I think this Connected Inc. event is more the after tomorrow view, just, just to, to, to be also very clear. And uh, the important thing is for us also here to engage with, with, with startups, for example, and also to work with startups together. Uh, to bring new ideas uh, and also, of course, new technologies um, here in, in, this, in, this, in this whole context. Just to, to um, uh, add to this what, what um, also Nobu said about the um, uh, setup of, 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 of Wacom. We are, we are a global company. That means we have, in, in this case, also all over the world teams. As I said, today I'm, I'm sitting here in uh, uh, Düsseldorf. Usually, if we wouldn't have a corona, maybe next week I would sit in, in Portland, where we have also a big office and uh, maybe in Beijing uh, and, and also in other locations. Again, uh, for us, it is important that you reach out to us, that you uh, follow us, that you uh, interact with us, and that you really, on, in this case, also bring your ideas how we can uh, develop this, this, this together. And the teams on site, on site, in the regions, in the countries, they are more than happy to talk to you, to give you also, in, in this case, also advices. There are many questions also about how can we, uh, for example, see additional webinars. There are going to be in the future much more webinars. We, and of course, with the situation what we have now with COVID-19, we are moving all the activities what we are usually doing in events now to the online world. As I said, just please follow us and, and interact with, with the teams, um, the social teams, uh, but also the, the other teams uh, where, are, where you can really talk to Wacom team members they are happy to um, give you a very clear direction. Um, and my CEO is again writing something in kanji. Um, I'm not sure. No, is this something special? <laughs> no, this is this is what. But uh, if you this like, I can write your name with kanji. <laughs> like, right? Yeah, this looks great. Good. Do we have any other specific questions? Flower, raising flower. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good. If we, um, again, many questions also about uh, specific topics, please, again, reach, reach out to us. There was one question, products are not available. <laughs> Right, as well. <laughs> products are available, and it is important also in which region you are. But uh, write us an email, and then you are also getting uh, the, the answer. Uh, um, it, it depends where you are, in which region you are, and then very clear answer when the products are going to be. But usually they are available, and uh, we are covering, especially during this time, uh, to really support also in this case the the community with products. Uh, the whole world. That means that we have enough products really to um, uh, uh, yeah to support you um, again we are going to continue this this is a kickoff this is uh, the, the the first first part uh, during the year we are going to have uh, similar sessions with partners with uh, team members from Wacom but also of course with creatives that means with team members from the creative community to drive this uh, together with you and to see how we can uh, really um, uh, yeah, enhance this community and see also uh, how we can bring creativity on the table from, from our minds. With this, maybe uh, any other comments uh, uh, from, from, from Tokyo 
before we are letting you go because it is five to midnight. I know it's late. It, it's okay. We already drinking, so uh, <laughs> we can we can continue forever if you like. <laughs> better, better. You know, I I just like to say you know um, it's really greatest opportunities. You know, this is the most important thing. How we can engage with our communities. Uh, and uh, how we can feel from our skin levels, you know, through the question discussions, what uh, the communities are thinking, what the communities are focusing that. And uh, uh, I'm so, you know, happy uh, I could take this opportunity. And Narushima san, some comment? I know. No, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, now, I live in Tokyo and have a limited stay home life under the influence of COVID-19. Yeah. Any of you, any two? In that life, I have been helped by contents, digital contents, many contents from creators all over the world. Mangas, animations, movies, musics, and much more. Many, many contents. I helped. I'm helped. We will continue to support these creators with work home and uh, many, many other personal. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Narsh. Great statement. It's uh, our joint commitment. Yeah. Mike? Thank you. Thank you very much, Naroshima san. Thank you, Nobu. Uh, and here, uh, I'm just taking the last, last question here. What was the thing that inspired you to create the, this webinar? To be very uh, clear also in the, in, the, in the answer, you, you as our community. That means you are really here inspiring us to create the same webinar. And that was the reason why I said there is a commitment also from us. We are going to continue this and we are looking forward to see you in the next uh, webinars all over the world and thank you for joining us thank you thank you bye bye thank you bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. thank you thank you everybody it was a wonderful session. thank you and that was a wrap for japan online week um, of this year with nine sessions and 10 artists and uh, a special guest narushima san today that's it from us so thank you take care goodbye and see you very soon Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.